guys, welcome back to another Create a Sim makeover video. I am doing this video because in the next episode of the Royal Family, we are going to have the Royal Wedding of Willow Creek, and I'm so, so excited. So I wanted you guys to see me pick Lady Corinne and Prince Louis' wedding outfit. So I'm so excited for you guys to see this. So if you're looking forward to seeing what they're wearing, please give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And let's go ahead and give them their Royal Wedding makeovers. Okay. So we are starting with Prince Louis. So I was kind of looking at pictures of the royal wedding of like the British royal wedding because I was kind of like basing it off of them. Really the royal creek with like, okay, so the Windenburg world, they are mostly based off of the British royal family. For the Willow Creek world, I kind of prefer them to be more like, like French culture sort of thing. So I mean, really his wedding outfit though is more of the British royal family, but you know what? It's fine. It's, well, I can't, I don't have that many options, so I feel like it's okay, but I added like some, like this sash thing to it too. You guys will see it in a minute too, but I'm so excited to do this also. I love actually doing these videos for you guys too, and I was actually about to film the next episode of the royal family tonight, like the one where they actually do get married, but I was looking for a wedding venue and I found this amazing one, but it's not furnished. So I would normally just give up because I don't have the patience to build. So I would just give up and find something that's already furnished, but I love it so, so much and it's perfect. And I would love other people to get married in it in the future as well. So I think I'm just going to spend tonight and furnish it and then I will film the episode tomorrow. So I'm so excited to do that too. Also, I am like, okay, so I have a plan for the 100th episode of the Royal Family. So for the next few weeks, it might just be like episode of Royal Family one after another because I just, I can't wait and I just want it to be the 100th episode so I can show this to you guys. So I, you, you guys might be seeing a lot of Royal Family episodes episode to the next few weeks and then I'll probably branch out a little bit after that but yeah I will try to also put some like Krita sim and like maybe some speed renovation videos in here as well but I'm just so so excited and also you guys can see that there have been some commercials on my YouTube because my video is now or my channel is now able to be monetized and I'm just so thankful for you guys for that and I mean like it's probably not great that you guys have to like deal with ads but I'm still thankful because now I'm able to kind of like make money from YouTube, which is pretty, pretty cool. So just so you guys know, but I appreciate the patience for you guys too. So back to the video. So with Lady Corinne, she, I, well, okay. So I have so many great dresses, like royal wedding dresses too. So I was, it was so hard to pick because there's so many great ones and I could not decide, but the one I ended up picking, I actually love, it wasn't this one. I actually love that one a lot. I just like, she kind of looks like a robot with her hands stuck out like that. So I don't know how I thought about that. That was really pretty too. It was a little more simple than I want it to be though, but I just really love the wedding dresses, guys. They're so pretty. I don't know if I'll be doing a wedding makeover video for all of the royal couples getting married because the, you guys, I mean, like, unless I get, like, a ton of new wedding dresses, you guys will basically be seeing the same thing. So, I mean, if you do want me to do that, though, maybe leave a comment in the comments below and just let me know, but I just wasn't sure about it. And then for maybe, like, like I already have a queen Nea's wedding outfit picked out, so I don't, I probably won't be doing one for them. Um, and then maybe for other cultures, I don't know. We'll just have to see. I'll look at your guys' comments and decide from there. Um, this is the wedding dress. Oh, well, okay. Well, I, I end up going back to it because I was trying to like compare a few options and see which one I like, but this is the one I end up going with. And oh my gosh, guys, it's beautiful. It's the off shoulder that I love so, so much. That off shoulder ball gown though, guys, like that is something what I would maybe want my wedding dress to be like. Like, it's so beautiful and I love it so much and it's perfect for like a future queen because now Lady Corinne is going to be a princess and I'm so excited for that. So you guys will also get to see, I did like some cool makeup stuff for her too. I did like blue tinted eyeshadow because the royal family uh, will creek their colors blue and oh, bubbles just like sneezed below me. Um, so their colors are blue and then also like the whole, I don't know if this is American thing, but they have like the something borrowed something new and something blue for your wedding. It's like something you want. So for something blue, I ended up going with these gorgeous blue earrings that I just downloaded from The Sims Resource. 
They're so, so pretty. They're like the first ones I went through. I didn't even have to look at other jewelry because I knew that's the one I wanted for her to wear. So it's like these gorgeous sapphires. And then I ended up playing around with some necklaces, but I ended up going with this one because there's like a few different cool options for it too. I thought the blue was a little bit much. I ended up going with the one that makes like the rhinestone in the middle, like a little bit darker, like a bluish gray sort of thing. Um, and then I played around with maybe adding some gloves on her too, but I honestly just thought she looked better without them. I, I couldn't see though, like you can't see her hand because they're stuck in her dress so just pretend she has pockets or something like that pretend it's not a glitch uh, but I was like playing around with like some nails and bracelets and rings and all that stuff too and then it took me forever to figure out hair for her because I was debating and you guys will see in a minute too I was like playing around with like should I give her tiara or something like that and I just could not really find one that I liked and then also guys they need more updos for hair especially for like the Maxis match hair too because there's just I'm running out of options and I use the same ones for like everything so I'd rather not do that but I mean like I end up going for her hair something that you guys have seen on plenty other of the royal sims so I apologize for that but hopefully I can find some new updo soon I feel like I've definitely looked at all of them though I, I don't think there's any left like I don't think there's anything new that I haven't seen before so you guys if you know of anything definitely let me know but I think I've definitely kind of cleaned out the updos but um, I end up like not really I like play around with some tiaras it's hard though because with the updos and I love this hairstyle a lot this is actually a hairstyle that Queen Alice had and it looked really good on Lady Corinne too it's one of her formal outfit hairs and I just I mean like the only thing with it though you can't wear a crown with it it's really like just because that bump in the front is so poofy uh, so you can't really wear a crown with it I didn't end up going with the tiara I ended up going with this veil that I found that was really really cool so I'm actually really glad that I have this because I've never had like a veil before for any of my sims getting married so this is a first but for this one though it's like really hard to find an updo like like it has to be a low updo one that because it, like if it's too high then it'll go through the veil so it has to be something a little bit lower so you guys will see too I ended up going with something that you guys have seen plenty of times but yeah anyway it'll be interesting but I'm just oh guys I'm so excited for them to get married I'm so excited for other sims to get married too because after this wedding we're going to have the royal wedding of Voices Springs and then he's like one of triplets like one of three so they might be getting married soon too so oh guys it's gonna be so many royal weddings I'm sure some of them will have like smaller ceremonies but yeah so anyway this video is over now but let me know what you guys think of her wedding outfits in the comments below I'm so excited for the next episode of the royal family for you guys to see that with their royal wedding so yeah but if you enjoyed this video give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and i will see you guys in the next video bye